Welcome to another episode of Eberhard Outdoors. This one's going to be uh, short for me anyway, um, and it's going to be kind of a little bit of a fluff video. This one's about swapping out my old Toyota Sienna, which was a 2015 uh, minivan. I went up to uh, the Fox Toyota dealership in Cadillac, Michigan, just to have some minor service uh, work done, just regular maintenance. And uh, ended up driving out of there with a 2020, I think in the video I say 2021, but it's actually a 2020 with 40,000 miles on it. Uh, and it was a single owner owned by a lady with some children. So it's in really good shape and it was well maintained. So um, the, I was going to actually think about getting a new one this year, but I found out that everything made since 2021 by Toyota is a hybrid. And uh, while I don't have anything against hybrids, um, the battery pack for the hybrid engine was underneath the middle seats. So anything 2021 and newer, you have to go to the dealership to have the seats taken out. You can't take them out and put them back in yourself. So um, they did have a 2020 on the lot uh, with 40,000 miles. That's the one I ended up buying. Uh, and it's identical to the one I have, other than the only difference was uh, the middle seats, when you take them out, there's two bars on the floor that stay in the actual van. Uh, my 2015, when you took out the middle seats, it was flush. The ground was flush. Um, so anyway, I figured out a way to cure that, uh, put some rubber over top of it, you can't even totally tell once it's done. And uh, so this video is going to be on getting the new minivan, minivan taking the seats out, uh, reprepping it for fall, not putting my hunting gear in it, obviously, because this is in February, and um, just putting down the carpet, the, uh, you know, go over carpet over the carpet in the actual van, putting down rubber mats so water can flow out mats to step on so when I step up between the seats and a little bit of an explanation why hunting out of a minivan in my personal opinion if you're hunting in areas where you're not having to deal with really rough terrain um, hunting out of a minivan is the ideal scenario for hunting um, I go over all of that just as I did in my minivan uh, video so anyway I hope you enjoy it thank you Okay, I'm in the Toyota dealership in Cadillac, Michigan. And this is my new minivan. Just put a trailer hitch on it. So we're getting it all prepped. Unfortunately, we're taking all the seats out, but this new van, newer, not new new, has this bar running across that the center seats hook to, and that does not come out. So I'm gonna have to deal with those bars. They do slide back and forth, front to back of the van, so I will slide them into the position. They'll be the least amount of problem. But uh, I will have to deal with it. Well, I've had my van a few weeks, two actually, and uh, today I finally got around to putting the carpets in it, which I'm going to show you from the inside. Um, put down the rubber mats. Got some rubber mats here, so when I get in there with water, it'll run out. It'll drain onto the rubber and run out. Um, took the seats out, dropped the back seats down into the floor. Uh, I'm opening up the back uh, pockets with doors on them to put ropes in for tying down my kayak or canoe. Um, anyway, this is my new van and uh, I traded my 2015 in and I couldn't believe how much they gave me for it. So I went in to get some work done and took off with a new van. New to me anyway, it's a 20... 21 and uh, has about 40,000 miles on it so that's fine uh, it's a little bit prettier not that I care I could care less what it looks like 
It'll be all scratched up in a couple of years anyway. So uh, the other one was scratched and dented. The front bumper had a crack in it. The windshield was cracked. Um, and they still gave me a heck of a lot of money for it. That's one thing about a Toyota that they hold their value a long, long time. And um, so anyway, I was about due for a new one anyway. I had 150,000 miles on that van. I had never even changed the spark plugs. I have never had a problem with a Toyota. I've had, I think this is my fifth one. The other four never had an issue other than changing oil and brakes. Um, I owned four Chryslers before that, town and countries. Uh, they had a lot more stuff on them. Uh, they did not ride as well. They were not as quiet inside. And I had issues, major issues, with every single one. Either trannies would go out, air conditioning, compressors. Everything that did go wrong was big stuff. It wasn't nickel and diamond me. It was, you know, $1,500 to $2,500 items. So uh, it's just nice to have something that's reliable. Thinking of getting a 3-inch lift kit on here for a little more ground clearance. That's the only, to me, that's the only downside of hunting out of a minivan is uh, you don't have a lot of ground clearance so you have to really be cautious where you're going when you're going on back roads and down trails and stuff on public land because uh, some some public lands do have do have uh, trails most of them in Michigan do not but out of state they all have roads and trails someplace um, so anyway I'm replacing ropes in here and putting everything back down the way it's supposed to be uh, got all the rubber mats down and the interior of this is identical to the other one so there wasn't a whole lot of learning process I'm a little slow on technology um, but other than that I really like it I like the color and uh, hopefully I can put some uh, nice bucks in the back of this puppy as Ernie called it or Greg named it the uh, Soccer mom, a van of death, or something like that. But I'm not too shy. First one I ever had, first couple I had, I actually put soccer mom stickers on the back bumper. I'm not too proud. Uh, you know, people just don't expect you to be a serious threat if you're, they see a minivan on the side of the road. And also, you can park places with a minivan, and people don't even think you're a hunter. <laughs> You know, you drive a four-wheel drive pickup truck and you park it someplace and typically if it, you know, they got signs and signages and PSE or whatever the brand may be, logos all over them, they know you're hunting. Um, so you're, you're telling your story while your vehicle's parked on the side of the road. So anyway, I've been hunting out of a minivan for 20 years probably, 20, well longer than that, probably 25 or 30 years since they started making them and I would never even consider hunting out of a pickup truck wouldn't even think about it. I'd step between the seats, change my clothes in the back of the van, the car's running, can't have the news on, the radio, whatever. It can be pouring out, it can be snowing sideways, it can be a blizzard, and I'm nice and warm while I'm changing. When I step out of my vehicle, I step out of my vehicle ready to go in the woods and hunt. I don't have to get out of my vehicle in bad weather, rain, whatever, step to the back of the truck, truck, open up the tailgate you know usually it has a topper or whatever and pull stuff out and change your clothes while while it's raining in nasty weather everything is nice and cozy so when I I can step between the seats and all my totes are nice and organized I sit on a tote change my clothes I can literally park my vehicle step between the seats change my clothes and walk out the side door within five minutes with my bow my backpack my sutlock exterior on all my layering garments in my backpack for when I get up in the tree, I change them out. Uh, I'm ready to go in five minutes. I have never hunted with anybody that can change their clothes and be out of their vehicle ready to walk in the woods faster than me unless they wore their clothing to where they're actually going to physically go hunting. Uh, but if changing clothes is required, I'm much faster than anybody with a pickup truck. It's not even a contest. So, uh, and also, you kill something, the deer goes in the vehicle. You know, it's going to be in a sled. Nobody's ever going to know you killed anything. Uh, out of sight, out of mind. Um, I love it. And uh, anyway, I'm going to show you what I did a little bit to the inside and uh, 
not going to load it up till fall other than some scouting equipment when I start doing some postseason scouting, which will be this Saturday, actually. I've got to go prep a tree. So um, there's snow on the ground right now, uh, but I already know the tree I'm going to prep. So uh, I just got to go do it. It's not like I'm looking for a new location. I already know the location. I just got to take the gear and do it. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video on my new minivan. Thank you. Okay, I've had my van for a couple weeks. I'm just getting around to cleaning out and changing the interior. This is the interior. I put uh, put my carpets down. I always carry a toolbox full of tools. You never know what's going to happen. I may have to fix somebody's four-wheel drive pickup truck that's broke down on the side of the road or back there I carry a tow strap for pulling four-wheelers out of the ditch with my minivan and I'm basically loading it up uh, put all my carpets down cut them to size a couple new ones some old ones now I'm putting these tie-down ropes for canoes and kayaks in these little pockets in the back. It's a pocket on each side, trailer hitch ball. There's my trailer hitch for when I need it. Extra plastic bags. Uh, in that box down there is a cigarette lighter slash compressor pump. Because I need to fill up a tire. And, as you can see, I've been cutting, cutting rubber. So I've got my rubber mat down. That's basically where I stand to change my clothes. Put that carpet underneath it. And underneath that is another rubber mat which overlaps my step, step up. So uh, if it's raining and I step in there with wet stuff on and drains, it drains out. It doesn't go onto the interior carpet. So, it's pretty much ready, ready for fall. All I've got to do is load it with my hunting gear. Finish putting those ropes and stuff in there. Got some extra saws, those are Corona saws. Good saws, not silkies, but they're good enough. When I'm prepping and I do have help, that's what I usually give somebody else. I use the silky and let them use the Coronas. And I carry these, I wrap around my sticks when I'm walking in but a lot of room back here a lot of room in the back of a empty van when the seats are out and the back seats are folded down uh, car top carriers I had to buy different car top carriers a couple of years back uh, because the ones that came with it were not wide enough for my canoe so I had to get wider ones But as you can see, there's a little ton of room in there. Just absolutely perfect for hunting by yourself.